Hi, my name is Kathy Schaffron. I'm an instructor in the Department of Journalism, and I'm offering two study abroad opportunities for this summer. And as you see up on the screen here, these study abroad opportunities are being offered for people who are majoring in comm, communications, journalism, political science, international relations. And there will be other opportunities for other majors as well. That's something that we would talk about on an individual basis to see if your major would be willing to apply these courses to what you're studying. So let's talk quickly about the programs that I will be sponsoring and running this summer. The one that you see here on the left side of the screen is happening in the summer session one. Uh, the traveling will start in mid-May and end in mid-June. This is a six-week program and it's essentially quite a bit of traveling. That's why it's six weeks. We begin here in the Athens area of Greece. We travel uh, by sea and also by land to the border with Turkey. So keeping in mind down here in the Middle East where many of the refugees have been coming from, millions and millions streaming, trying to get into Northern Europe since 2015. This program will be following that refugee trail from the Turkish border up through northern Greece into the Balkan area here. Definitely a stop uh, in Serbia and a couple of other Balkan countries. We will make our way through Hungary with a stop there for several days. Again, this is a country that is one of the two in Europe that has taken a anti-immigrant stance, this one actually making it illegal for anybody to help a refugee. And the trip ends in Berlin looking at uh, Germany's immigration issue, its commitment years ago to uh, accept up to a million refugees from the Middle East and what that has done to the politics of the region, to the people of the region, and how it's impacted the refugees and the current political climate in, in Germany as well. So again, six weeks, lots of traveling. Uh, the second program that we're offering is in the second half of the summer session. So the traveling will be from mid-July to mid-August on this one. This will be based primarily in southern Spain. And this one looks at the refugees who have traveled from northern Africa and also the ones who are coming from sub-Saharan Africa. They're coming from Congo, from Liberia, Sierra Leone. These are the ones that are fleeing tribal violence and what they call corrupt governments that don't take any cr criminal activities against the gangs, uh, against the terrorist groups, something like Boko Haram. So we're seeing a huge influx of refugees now coming across northern Africa and sub-Saharan Africa, trying to cross the Straits of Gibraltar and to make their way through Europe. So for this program, we're going to base ourselves the whole four weeks in the Malaga area, and we will be visiting and looking at uh, refugee camps along the border of uh, southern Spain and also along the border of northern Morocco. And we'll also be doing several days travel to the capital of Spain to talk about the political situation. So we'll be looking at the human impact and the political impact of the refugee crisis in Spain for this portion of the trip. Now I'm going to uh, let the videos play as I talk to you about um, what happens in these programs. These are uh, photos from a trip that we had two summers ago. Um, this one was based totally in Greece. And you see we spend quite a bit of time directly interacting with refugees inside of refugee camps. Uh, we talk with leaders of legal aid who are trying to assist the refugees in the asylum process. We talk to NGOs who are responsible for health organizations trying to as assist them, talk about the problems they encounter. You see on the left the burnout ravages of a building that was burned down by refugees in a refugee camp where they're upset they've been there so long. We eat like octopus, taste it. Um, you'll notice on the left a camera, and that is because um, this course also will be teaching you how to cover and report on refugee-related issues in a multimedia sense. So as you're seeing here, we also travel to legal aid, women's rights organizations. We take a complete and overall look at the refugee issue from the uh, stepping inside the IOM, the International um, Office of Migration, learning from them how the refugees are being granted asylum and being barred from asylum. We also enter 
the political realm, going to parliament buildings, this one in Athens, and we speak directly to the people who are making decisions about the political impact for refugees. This is the head of the Golden Dawn, the neo-Nazi party in Germany. So you see, throughout the trip, you have direct interaction with people from all sides. Um, you also have the opportunity every weekend throughout both of the trips uh, to do some of your own independent traveling. You'll have the opportunity to travel with people from your group to other areas of Europe throughout each weekend throughout the program. So the ultimate idea of the program is for you to learn, to experience Europe, to understand fully the refugee issue, and to ultimately report uh, to others on that refugee issue. So those are the details about the program. I will be having an informational meeting that's coming up in, I think, the third and fourth week of November, and I would like to give you details on that. So if you have any interest in learning more, the financial details, how much it costs, how you can pay for it with scholarships, how can you apply the credits uh, to your major, how can you uh, qualify to participate in the program. So if you have any interest in coming to the informational meeting that will tell you how to move forward with this program, um, you can email me at chaffron at oakland.edu. You see that up there now, chaffron at oakland.edu. I will be glad to send you details of the informational meetings, or if you just have any questions now that you would like to ask, I would be glad to respond to those by email as well. If you'd like to meet with me, feel free to email as well, and I'd be glad to meet with you. And that's it. I look forward, hopefully, to meeting with some of you, and it's an exciting opportunity. I, I hope that you'll think about it. Thanks. Bye-bye.